When we think about spring, we usually think of flowers and return of colors into nature. And that is exactly what is happening at our country house. It's all so pretty. The days are warmer and there is this typical spring smell. I hope you don't have allergies. Luckily we don't, so we've been enjoying it all. Guys, for me this is the highlight of spring, when the sour cherry is in bloom. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it looks so good. I was totally looking forward to this. And here, this flower garden bed. It's amazing too, because of these two shrubs. Yeah. The flowers are so pretty. So I absolutely love it, but from now on it will only go downwards. <laughs> How come? Because we are at the peak now. Of so, blossoming. Of blossoming, yeah. I think the flowers will disappear soon, these ones and all the others. And there will be some kinds here and there, but it won't be so colorful anymore. So, yeah, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> and we have so many dandelions. We don't mind them at all. I consider them pretty. Mm -hmm. And they make our lawn prettier. And all the daisies as well. And other little flowers. So. Yeah, it looks like a very nice, colorful carpet. Yeah, it's better than just green. Yeah, it is. And the sour cherry is growing quite a lot. So it gets prettier and prettier because there are more blossoms. And we still have sour cherries from last year in our freezer, which is amazing. <laughs> and soon there will be new ones. I love walking barefoot to feel the nature under my feet and it's like the energy is streaming into my whole body just try not to feel the bees underneath <laughs> i'm trying i am not very careful but i am aware that they are here so yeah i'm watching where i step at least from time to time <laughs> When we were in the city a few days ago, I wanted to go for a bike ride, but sadly, I realized I have a flat tire. So we brought the wheel here, because I thought it would be easier to fix it here. So now I have to remove the tube. We've never done this before, right? Yeah. When I was a kid, my dad did it, and I was watching. So, I know approximately, and I was reading about it, of course, on the internet now. So, let's remove this. And I have to inflate it a bit. And then we have to find the hole that's mm. causing it. Guys, in Czech or Slovak, we call this a sole. <laughs> sole of the tire. We are going to put it here into our barrel uh -huh. full of water. And there should be little bubbles where the air is escaping the tube. So let's start here. And this will be our marker. So we know we went full circle. Okay, so <laughs> it's here. It's a lot of bubbles. Can you see it, right? I can. Yeah, so... Yeah, there is a uh -huh. hole here. I can hear it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But let's check the whole... whole tube. Because there could be more holes, but this one is quite strong. Oh my god, look. What? One more. Oh. 
and we went the whole circle. So two holes. It's quite interesting. I have no idea when this happened because we were driving the bicycle until the end of the season, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. And now this was the first time I wanted to go after winter and it was totally flat and two holes. So mm -hmm. yeah, we have to repair this. Guys, it's raining a little bit, but it's so annoying because there are thunderstorms everywhere around us. But here, again, nothing. You can see the dark sky there. So that's going away, that direction. But over us, there was nothing and it got stronger there. It's so sad. So it got colder and nothing came out of it this is just a very insignificant amount of rain so it's just annoying and this always happens to me it's so sad like my mood is totally down now i don't like this and at the same time we can't do really anything any kind of work yeah exactly it's just annoying but it's not useful at all because yeah the grass is wet and that's it you can see the thundering or hear yeah you can hear <laughs> the thunderstorm is growing and growing look at that but it's not moving into our direction so we can just sadly look at it and that's it so i was hoping at least for rainbow we are waiting now <laughs> It would appear there somewhere, if the sun would come out of the clouds, but I don't know. The conditions are totally against us today in everything. For some reason, thunderstorms always run away from Peter. Yeah, it's so sad. I love thunderstorms, but I never get any. I don't mean when they are close. This is not enough for me. I need a downpour. That's my favorite part of a thunderstorm. Heavy rain. Not this, when it's so close, but not here. It's so frustrating for me. <sighs> we have a new tool, which is going to be a great help. It's a drill, a hand drill, and you drill into the ground. So it's great for posts like this. I already did this one. And it's quite fun doing this. So there is no motor or anything. You have to use your own strength. Which you have plenty of. <laughs> totally. And there is no rainbow or anything, so I have to warm up by doing this. <laughs> Always after some time I have to remove the soil. And we are slowly getting deeper and deeper. So is it better than making holes with a spade? Yeah, this is totally better. And this would be impossible with a spade because, you know, the hole would be too wide. Mm -hmm. So this is great. So guys, we have raspberries here and we will put three posts around them and there will be some wires between them and then the raspberries could grow onto the wires and everything, it will be like a support. Yeah, we don't want them to stay on the ground. Yes. Guys, 50 centimeters. So, one last time. And let's take our post and let's put it in look Ta -da! and now i'm going to use this leftover soil and just put it 
in the hole. Tommy is telling me that this one is a bit higher, <laughs> and he is right, but it doesn't really matter, right? No, our garden is not even anyway. So it's okay, and let's do the third one. Looks like we are at 50. Oh wow! We are! Wow! About now. Yeah, I think it looks good. I think this is done. Mm -hmm. At least stage one is done. Yeah, it looks good. Three posts. <laughs> and we have something new in our field. So we put wires around the posts and here is our latest element in our garden. Ta -da! It's so. like a boxing ring or okay. boxing triangle. Yeah. For our raspberries. Yeah. It's like a cage. This will be a raspberry heaven. Yeah. And we put them far away so that we would be able to harvest all the fruit. Yeah. So yeah. Now I guess maybe I will need to wire the raspberries to the wires mm -hmm. you know so that they would go the way we want to and they would grow upwards which is the main reason why we put this here but i'm very happy it's done yeah me too because it sounded more complicated but at the end it wasn't too bad yeah we have a gutter on our garage here but all the water goes to waste through this pipe you know just flows on the ground and away so we bought this new inter thingy mm -hmm. and we want to catch the rainwater through this thing. So we want to install it here and it will go into the barrel and then we will have to make this one shorter and connect it here. So the rest of the water will still fall away if we need to. Yeah. I bought this already like half a year ago, but we found courage again. <laughs> <laughs> so we will do it today, or we will try to do it today. So wish us luck. So we need to cut the pipe with this metal saw, saw for cutting metals. <laughs> but I am afraid, as always, because the risk is we will cut too much. And another thing is that it will be crooked, but that's a minor thing. So hopefully we won't cut too much. Yeah, we just want it to work. Yeah. Here are markers, so we figured this one is the correct one. <laughs> we were measuring more times, of course. It's always a disaster with us, but hopefully this won't be a disaster. And let's go. There are two parts now. So, it was successful. Not very fine job, <laughs> you know. But, look, this is the official side and it looks like this. Uh -huh. So, my side is okay. Yeah. If I compare it with that. It looks professional. Totally. So, okay, let's connect it. Is there enough space to do that? Space, yes. Uh, you will just need your help maybe putting it inside. Okay. Change of plans, because right now those two pipes don't fit into each other. So we'll try to do it here somehow, maybe change the form a little bit. It probably changed while we were sewing it, so we'll have to fix it and then we'll put it there. Yeah. So, as you would say in Czech, this was giving birth because <laughs> it was really painful and these two pieces didn't want to fit together. So now, somehow, after maybe half an hour, 
we put them in, but it's only like this much in, I would say. <laughs> but we will try anyway. We will put it there and we'll see. Yeah. It's just water. Yeah, exactly. And it's now quite short, as you can see at the bottom, because when we were trying to put it in, we put this more in than it was previously. We didn't know that that was also done like crap. <laughs> so we will have to put some something under it, like some bricks. Mm -hmm. There was one brick uh, under it before, now maybe we will need two bricks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? Well, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Just turn it and yeah, we but, will turn okay. the lower okay, part. Okay. Better? Okay guys, it's connected. There are three bricks here, <laughs> or two full-sized and one piece. <laughs> and it looks like it should work. It's connected. It's homemade, as you can see. But we don't mind. And it's working. And we could catch rainwater. The burrow seems to be happy. And we are happy too, because this was... I don't know, it's always... This is such a small thing, it will be done in five minutes. <laughs> but it never is, there is always some problem. I don't know, but we are used to that, so... Yeah. yeah. That's and what it's like working with an old property. Yeah. A few days later, we can continue with repairing this flat tire. I have a small repair kit and first thing you need to do is to sand the surroundings of the hole. Just a little bit, but it has to be a bit rougher so the glue sticks there. That's what the instructions say. And now we need to apply the glue. So first the glue here. I don't know how much. So I'm just guessing he's... Should be okay, right honey? If you say so. It's not my responsibility. <sighs> and now we have to wait 10 minutes and then stick the patch or whatever this is onto it. Interesting. So see you in 10 minutes. Yeah. And in the meantime I found a broken bird egg here. But it's in such an unusual place. I have no idea where it came from. Like where it fell from. There is no nest anywhere. Yeah, no nest, so that's interesting. There are birds everywhere now, so yeah. I don't know, but it's impossible for the wind to blow it here, right? No idea, but there are bound to be casualties. Yeah. Ten minutes went by. Like nothing. From first applying the glue. And let's put this patch on that. And the second one. The holes are patched. The glue has dried up. So now the most difficult part. To put the tube back into the tire or under the tire or whatever. So... <laughs> Guys, wish me luck. It was quite easy to get it out, but it's always a different story to put something back in. So first we will start with this thingy where you blow the air in. Inflation thingy. Inflation thingy. It's going well, I see. <laughs> it's a nightmare already. 
And we just started. But look, it's going in somehow. Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> we'll give you a few minutes. <laughs> okay, and now... Okay! Wow, so, that looks amazing! But it's not done yet. This Now I have to put the tire back into the wheel, oh. you know? And that's not easy. Okay. But maybe it is. We are done. So now I have to inflate it. And I hope it stays that way. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay, 160 blows. <laughs> and the wheel looks normal. There is this thingy, but it's not really necessary. A head or something. But the wheel is inflated and it looks good. Yesterday I inflated the tube and the air wasn't escaping anywhere, it stayed, so it should be okay. And it was okay. A few days later we went on a short cycling trip and the tire was holding. It was so warm. And look how green the forest already was. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed our video. And see you guys next time. Bye!